Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so this is the second video in the series where we're looking at the quadratic formula. And it says, give your solutions in the form that, which really would indicate using the quadratic formula. However, in order to do that, we need to make sure that our equation is equal to zero. So we've got x squared plus 2x minus 9 equals zero. And what we're doing is we're applying the formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root a b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now that formula is probably on your formula sheet in the exam. Okay, so we've got three values. We've got a, b, and c. Well, this effectively is 1a squared. So therefore, a equals 1. b equals the next value along, which is going to be equal to 2. And c, just be a little bit careful here, is going to be negative 9. And then really it's taking those three values and putting them straight into the formula. The way I'm going to write it is I'm going to use brackets. Now the reason I use brackets is it just makes my life a little bit simpler when I'm using a calculator, particularly when I'm working out this area which I'm writing out at the moment, which is the area underneath the square root. Because you'll notice I've got minus 4 here, and I've also got minus 9 there. And because I've got those two, it does make my life a little bit harder if I'm using a calculator straight away. OK, so let's just finish writing this and we get something like this. So, therefore, when I remove the brackets, I've got minus 2 and I'm going to get two values. One is a positive value of underneath the square root, which is going to be 40 and then divided by 2, and then my other is my negative, the square root of 40, all divided by 2. Now, if you put that straight into a calculator and press the equals sign, you would actually get a reduction to the way it is in the actual question of a plus or minus b uh, root c. And what you would get is minus 1 plus the root of 10, which is 1 root 10, or minus 1 minus the root of 10, which is actually the answer to this question. Now you can leave it there if you want to. However, I'm just going to go from this to this just to give you a little idea of how that's actually being worked out. So what we've got, you'll notice that we've got minus 2 plus the root of 40 all divided by 2, which is the same as saying minus 2 over 2 plus the root of 40 over 2. OK, now the root of 40 can be written as the root of 4 multiplied by the root of 10. OK, so what? Let's just tie this up again a bit. I've got minus 2 divided by 2. Well, that's going to be minus 1, so that becomes minus 1. And then, as I've mentioned, I've got the root of 4 multiplied by the root of 10, all divided by 2. OK, well, square root of 4 guess what? That's actually 2 itself. So this becomes really 2 root 10 divided by 2. Now, because that happens then, I can then just divide through by 2. I get rid of those, and I end up with exactly the same as we've got here, which is minus 1 plus root 10. OK, hopefully that's been useful. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.